Okay, so if like me, you own a 5000 series GPU and you don't want to be stuck on shitty regular frame gen and you want to use multi-frame gen, which in some cases is actually pretty good. And for an up performant abomination like Dragon's Dogma 2, it's actually a wonderful tool to have. Uh, then don't worry because I found a way to get multi-frame gen working thanks to a guy on the Steam Community Hub forum. A few days ago, I asked if it's possible to do multi-frame gen for the game. Um, I didn't get a response until 15 hours ago by a gentleman called Improve. He said, you need to drop the proper up-to-date SDK files, then the inspector will work. Game does not have MFG SDK files originally. That's right, because Capcom just fucking abandoned this game and didn't update it and has probably got no plans for DLC, which is just pathetic. But regardless of this, I went into here, I downloaded the SDK files, and you need to download and manually push all 16 DLLs that NVIDIA uses. So I'll show you how to do that. He recently finished the game at 6K with four times frame gen, ran completely fine. And that is absolutely true because I've tried it and it is not a placebo and this actually works. So I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you that it is not a placebo. So let's start by going to GitHub, right? This is Streamline. So when I downloaded the zip and what that gave me was this, right? It's a confusing kind of looking document. So I just went into bin, found all these um, streamlined documents here uh, or streamlined files. And I literally just dropped them in to the installation folder for Dragon's Dogma 2, which is right here, right? Right here. All the files went in there, replaced whatever was there. And of course, I also use DLSS Swapper because can't kind of you can't live without DLSS Swapper in this time and age. And I used it to swap to the latest version of like DLSS, frame generation, whatever. So that is completely optional. Uh, and let me prove to you that it actually works, right? So this is Dragon's Dogma 2 and Inspector right here. If I scroll down, uh, where is it? It was literally here like earlier today when I was looking at it. There it is. Uh, so if I scroll to number five, common, you can see my frame generation, my multi-frame generation set to times three because the game does not have the setting to actually do this in uh, in the game because it's obviously it's not implemented into the game. It's not incorporated. It needs another uh, hard element or UI element, which obviously they haven't added and they most likely won't add. Um, so you need to do this at driver level. So I'm, I'm going to show you what it runs like first without any multi-frame gen or anything. I'm just going to leave normal frame gen on, which will essentially just double my frame rate. Um, but yeah, this, this is just going to run on like your regular frame gen. It's not going to be like super great. It'll be around 100, 100 something FPS. It will be okay, maybe a little stuttery, but it's, it's okay. So you should be able to see the performance metrics up above. Yeah, you can see the Steam overlay. And just to make it easier for you guys, so you don't think I'm bullshitting, I'll enable the NVIDIA overlay as well, so you can see the frame rates for yourselves. Gonna load the latest save, so. So you can see, yeah, about 118. Wanna look this way, 90 FPS. It's it's okay, it's not perfect. Latency, latency sits at about 77 MS. Uh, GPU CPU usage. Fuck off. What even is that? Get out of my face, man. Anyway. Uh, as you can see here, about 100 FPS, right? So it's not... It's not the best. It feels fairly smooth, relatively responsive, right? Latency doesn't really matter that much for a game like Dragon's Dogma, third-person adventure game. Or maybe it might... It might mean more to you guys than it does to me, but fuck off. You fucking asshole. Get out of my way. I'm going to tab out of it. I'm going to quickly go into multi-frame generation count. I'm going to set it to times four, right? I'm going to relaunch the game and you'll see my, my frame rate 
and latency will change. And it's not some sort of placebo. The smoothness and everything is definitely there. You probably won't see it on the video, but you'll see it on the frame frame time and frame rate that the game is going to be running like at a higher frame rate. There'll be more latency, and I can tell it's working because you get the visual artifacts you normally get with times four frame gen, which you normally wouldn't have unless you're using, of course, like Uh, unless you're running a low frame rate using like times four frame gen or something right or like times three times three is ideally the optical you can use times four whatever works for you but i usually recommend times three for most stability or smoothness. it's like it's like the balanced mode of the lss right it's kind of what you can compare it to this game's loading up so see right away you can see 200 224 fps it's it's working it's smooth. Latency is not that much higher. Maybe 5 to 10 more milliseconds. Well, it jumped up to about 90. It's whatever. It doesn't matter. But as you can see here, that big CPU bound frame drop I had here when I was originally um, here without multi frame gen, it was present. Well, it's no longer present. I'm getting 200 FPS and the smoothness is there. The game runs nice. It's steady. It's smooth. It's actually quite nice to look at. I'm not getting that much artifacting or visual noise. The UI will obviously still have uh, some issues. It will flicker here and there, especially if, like, if you look at the grass and you move it around fast. The UI will flicker. It's gonna, it's gonna have a few issues here and there. But other than that, it's actually relatively smooth. Maybe slight input delay, but in a game like this, in a game like this, it doesn't really matter too much, right? So yeah, it's um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So you can see it's working. It's it's not some sort of placebo. It's definitely working. You can see the latency has definitely increased a little bit because that's what you expect when you add more frames into the game, or when you inject more frames into the game. So it is definitely working. It is possible to get it working a five thousand series card. Now, I do not know if this is going to work on a. 4,000, 3,000 series card. You can try it, but it's not guaranteed to work. So just keep that in mind. So let me show you how to actually do this. Let me walk you step by step through how I actually did this and how I got this to work. Cool. So very straightforward on how you do this. You head to the link in the description. It's it, This is GitHub. This is not some sort of a virus. This is open source you can see it this is like the official nvidia rtx streamline um i don't know if it's the official or whatever but you can see the repositories yourself yourself this is safe you have nothing to worry about if you do not trust me you can do virus total whatever you want regardless i just downloaded this right this document here as you can see and when you open it up it's gonna look like this it's gonna be like a mess right you head into bin x64 you highlight all these files these um sl.dlss nvgx ddlss blah 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 all this crap right you head over to your dragon's dogma folder manage browse local files and you chuck all these files into here every single one and you replace them now, i've already done this so i'm not going to be doing this so i'm going to skip these files right but that will then override these files and you have the latest SDKs, the ones that support frame gen and well, multi frame gen. I think that that's, I believe how Pure Dark first did this. He uh, used the latest SDKs and he enabled just, you know, normal frame gen in the game. That's how it was done before they fully implemented it. Now that you've done this, you need to enable multi frame gen through the driver, right? Which you can only do through NVIDIA Inspector. So I'll provide you a link to NVIDIA Inspector when you extract it from Guru 3D, it's just gonna look like this. So you just double click this and run it. And in here, you search for Dragon's Dogma 2, right? You should have Dragon's Dogma 2. You can set your frame gen through here. Make sure enable DLL override is on. I don't know if this actually makes a difference at all, or if it just, you know, or, or if it, um, if it, makes this work or whatever but i've seen some people or i've seen 
when because you can do this for other games as well that don't really support multi-frame gen yet fully or properly we can also do it for those games um and then yeah you can just um set whichever frame multi-frame generation count you'd like um and apply it and that's it i'm going to keep it at times three because that is for me the kind of best mix between performance and quality and i'm going to run the game and you'll see it's it's going to have a slightly lower frame rate than times four but it'll be far more stable visually and it'll, it'll look pleasant it'll feel nicer to play just slightly nicer to play and let's see Okay, so now that's booting up. Now in the main menu, I wouldn't worry too much about the main menu or like your frame rate in other areas. Like um, sometimes when you talk to NPCs, it's like the frame gen gets disabled and it eats your FPS and you just see it tank visually and it's horrible to look at. Sometimes that happens. Um, it only happens when you talk to NPCs, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, see, look, my latency is much lower, 60, 70. Frame rate slightly lower. But the game is, is still responsive. It's still very playable. It looks gorgeous. It looks it looks nice. I can probably slap RTX onto it. And this, this definitely helps. See, like 150, 160 FPS when looking at this building, right? So this definitely helps alleviate some of these, like, CPU bottleneck issues or issues with areas where there's, like, a massive CPU bottleneck, like the main city. Unfortunately, I haven't progressed enough in this uh, in this save to the main city, so I can't really test that yet. But I feel this opening camp is kind of where some frame issues or performance issues start to show up, especially when you look at certain CPU-bound areas, I think. Yeah, if you look at like this tent, that for some reason just dropped my FPS. It's, it's uh, yeah, completely bizarre, but... Yeah, that is pretty much it. It's, it's nice and smooth, it looks good, so... I highly recommend you guys try it out if you want multi-frame gen, if you have five, a 5000 series GPU and you, you know, you want to try this out for yourself without ha waiting for Capcom to implement it, which let's face it will probably be never, judging by the state of Monster Hunter Wilds and the, uh, let's see, there you go, that's happened, see the frame rate? It's dipped to like 40, 50. Right, come here. I did not ask for your fucking input. You funny looking Khajiit. Must we run Off you go. You are an impatient one, Arisen. Let us endeavor <laughs> to keep up. Though we are less. Yeah, he didn't fly so good. Anyway. That is that. So hopefully this helps you guys get multi-frame gen working in the game. Like I said, it might even be worth trying on the 3000. 4000 series gpu it might work um you know it's, it's worth just giving it a shot uh because i've seen some some tweaks and hacks with OptiScaler that you can actually get multi-frame gen working in some games on older gpus but the input lag is quite unbearable so yeah you guys yeah just try this out let me know if it works for you and uh peace out all right thanks for watching like and subscribe